Hello, this is Tom Lux. I'm with one half of the Draw the Line guys, uh, Michael Snowden. Uh, tell me a little bit about Draw the Line and what you guys do. Draw. I'm going to have this coffee while you talk. Very well. Jump, jump in, hold. Uh, hello. Draw the Line is essentially just a, a free draw event. It's it's simple. We, we go to a venue, we put down paper, we provide pens, and we invite anybody and everybody to come along and just doodle, really. Now, what about the people that kind of say, oh, I don't really want to join in, I can't draw? You do get a lot of those people, but I find... Um, if it's in a bar, alcohol naturally helps uh, lower people's inhibitions. Yeah. But the thing is, like, the, we don't expect people to come down and be like our oh, A-level students. Uh, the, the night is just for everybody to to have a doodle. And you know, when people look around and see what's actually on the the pages, like, I think that helps relax them into having a go because you know, there's, it ranges from the professional to the complete amateur. You do see some incredible artwork on the table. I mean, and it's just pieces of paper. You can see it's just pieces of paper that are on these tables and, and you see some incredible artwork that comes out and then you see some absolute rubbish and it does make you feel better if you're going to go, oh, I, I can definitely draw better than that thing. Yeah, 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 I'll draw yeah. this instead. Um, how do you think it, it, it kind of uh, helps with like, kind of, uh, people kind of drawing? Because you, you, you kind of work alongside mental health, don't you? There is like, there's a, there's a very subtle, like my, uh, I mean, I come from a graphic design background, whereas the, my partner that I do the night with is a uh, cognitive behavioral therapist so subtly there's a bit of art therapy in there um, I think people come down and like have a have a go and you know the art of drawing itself is a very therapeutic thing in itself yeah. I'm struggling to remember your question to be <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. No, it's it pretty good. It's, it's that horrible thing, you know, when you start talking, you just hope that your brain catches up with what you're saying. Yeah. I think a lot of the time that, that can relate into drawing, though. You can start drawing something, you not really know where it's going, until you get your final piece and go, oh, that's what it was the whole time. No, no, that does happen a lot. And uh, the good thing about it is you get so many different people's, like, little interpretations in their corner, but as the night progresses, it, it builds into, like, this kind of collective mural and you'll get somebody that might not want to draw their own thing, but they'll happily come down and colour in somebody else's yeah. drawing. And, you know, it's kind of got Just the basically the messed the whole up. to do that. Draw know? penises everywhere, penises, penises. You know, like the, the easiest thing, if somebody comes and says, I can't draw, you're like, well, draw me a penis. <laughs> and people can happily draw something like that. And that, that just relaxes them and eases it into it. Because as I say, there's no standard. It's just like... Just... Brilliant. And wh when is the next uh, one after today? Next one would be on the first Thursday of the next month. So Draw the Line is on the first Thursday of every month. Every month in uh, Django's Rift on Wall Street. Come down to Django's and draw some penises on tables and get away with it. Mike Snowden, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cool.